I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to have you here with us in London for the film festival. Maybe you begin with a brief introduction to your film, Foremost by Night. What can people expect when they watch it? I'm Victor Riarte, the director of this film. It's like a production between Spain, France and Portugal. So it's the film we are presenting here. We, we made the premiere at Venice Film Festival. So this is the second international premiere of the film. And it's a thriller who tells the encounter of the, the two main characters, two women. One is a biological mother and the other one an adoptive mother of a, of a young boy. And the film, yeah, it tells the story of this encounter through the idea of a thriller. It, it began as a thriller, but it became after more a melodrama and it tells the encounter of these two women and how they tell each other their life story. And tell us a bit about the inspiration behind the story and why you wanted to make the film. Yeah, it was an old project. Uh, since years ago, I was reading about the relation between yeah, the biological and adoptive relation mother-son. And in Spain, we have like an issue from the end of the dictatorship in 75 and the beginning of the democracy, that there were several cases of stolen babies. The background of our story begins there at that period of time and with that issue. But our film is proposing like a contemporary view of that theme. So yeah, that's the inspiration. Do you take um, reference from other films, other filmmakers? How would you characterize the look and feel of the film? Yeah, we have several references. I work in a film festival in San Sebastian, so my work usually is to watch films. I write about films. So yeah, I have a lot of references from contemporary cinema, but also from the classicals. For example, of course, in Spain, we all all the directors, we have like a reference Almodovar and the melodramas from Almodovar and of course in, in our film because we are working with two very well-known actresses and one of them, Lola Dueñas, is an actress from Almodovar also. So of course the melodramas from Almodovar are a reference for us but also for example a director, a Belgium director, Chantal Ackerman for example and one of her films, News from Home, who is a film when we're a mother and a daughter communicate each other through letters, handwriting letters. In our films, the communication is also with or by letters or by voice messages because we are in a new century. So yeah, we have, for example, these two inspiration, very, very direct ones, like Almodovar or Chantal Ackerman, for example. But as I said, I work in a film festival and I'm very used to watch what is happening in the contemporary cinema. But I have a lot of references, but I'm very curious about how, for example, the thriller, the contemporary thriller, for example, how the Asian directors are rewriting, rewriting this idea of thriller, the Korean cinema, contemporary cinema, or the Chinese cinema, for example, the Aoji Nan, and some other big names from contemporary cinema. I'm very curious how they are dealing with this mixing of, yeah, of some ideas from thriller, but some ideas from, yeah, or how they mix like some other arts, like literature or, or painting in their films. And in our film, we try to make it something similar, mixing like different, yeah, different approach to what is cinema now, yeah. And you were mentioning there some of your cast. How did you choose them and how did you work with them to achieve your vision? We have a, a, our producer in Spain. It's also a film director. Isaac La Cuesta is well known in the industry there. He, yeah, he made like several big films and he know very well the industry. So when we started preparing the project and when I was writing, he told me, don't be afraid to have a big cast because it's going to help us a lot after for the industry and for the yeah from the support. He knows very well the scene of the actresses. And in our case, as I mentioned before, one of the actresses is Lola Dueñas, very well known from her work with Almodóvar. And the other one is Ana Torrent, very well known from the her work with Victor Erice, Saura, some very big classical names from the Spanish cinema. So yeah, they get into the project from the very beginning. Yeah, and for me it was a pleasure to work with them because, because of their experience and because, of course, because they help a lot us to, yeah, to, to get the production we need to make this film, yeah. 
and tell us a bit about the shoot. You know, what were some of the challenges along the way? What were some of the highlights? Did you have a, okay. a favorite scene? Yeah, it's a road movie. We were working first two weeks in Madrid after in San Sebastian in the north of Spain and the end of the film is in Portugal. So it was a challenge to move all the team through all these different places. But as the movie is a broad movie too, we incorporate like our natural journey from one place to another to the movie. So, and yeah, it, it's my first feature film. So it wasn't easy to move all this team. But as I mentioned before, we have this very strong support of the production company, but also of the actresses. So it was easy in a way. Yeah, and I, men I will mention also that in my way of understanding cinema is very important how not only the theme, also how we film. And we, we, we film in 16 millimeters, so it's like more an art house cinema approach. To, to the theme, but also we are like very specific in the decisions we made about not only camera, but also sound. We have a very strong soundtrack. We work with a well, very well-known musician from the Basque Country, very recognized in the industry. Maita Rita Jaure is the musician. So for us, the music is also uh, one, one big theme in, 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 in our approach to the, to, this, to the theme. So yeah, I will mention these things, yeah. And in terms of the themes that come out of it, you know, obviously this very specific um, topic that you're dealing with, but then universal themes of how people deal with grief, with loss, having agency. What do you think some of the themes in the film are? Yeah, the theme, I think that it's two mothers and a son. So it's, and, and it's a very emotional film because it proposed an encounter of these two women in their 50s and this uh, young boy in, in 20, from, yeah, he, he's 20. So, yeah, it's an encounter and it's a dialogue. It's a, how they talk about their lives, their fate, the possibility of having another life. Some questions about being a woman in that period. It's a contemporary film, but they talk about the 80s in Spain. So, yeah, it's like two women talking about life, about work, about dreams about the possibility of being another. So yeah, we, when we premiered it at Venice, we know that it's so emotional, the encounter, that it's a film, it's an universal film in, in that way. We are proposing, yeah, a lot of other themes in the film, but the main one is, I think that it's two mothers and a son, motherhood, something about mothers talking about their life, yeah. And what does it mean to you to have your film here at London Film Festival? Yeah, it's, uh, we are very happy, of course. Uh, as I said, it's the second international screening here after Venice. Yes, for me, I'm very curious about the reaction of the audience. And yeah, to be in London, in this big city, with so many things happening every day, and to be in the festival, it's, we are very happy of being here because of this idea of this possibility of sharing the film with a new audience yeah as i said said to you before i i work in a film festival and i know the importance of the festivals for the films because we need we need audience we need to be with the industry we need to be the, with the media uh, when we make films we make films for the audience and to be in a festival is a way of for example in our case to be is the first step to be or to have the possibility of maybe later being in other cinema rooms in the city or in other film festivals in the country, for example. So we know that the festivals are gates or doors to the audience. And we are now presenting the film here. And in, we are now starting the tour because from here, from here we are moving to France, to Chicago, to Vienna. So we are starting. So yeah, in this point of, the, of our work, so after ending the film, we want to have and to share the film with the audience and the festivals are the, the way, the first, the first step. So yeah, super happy to be here and very thankful. Yeah. And it's your first time directing and you got the thirst for it now? Are you hoping to, have you got an idea for a next feature or? Yeah, I would love to make another short film because yeah, this is a feature, but I, I came from, I, I made some several shorts. I would love to make first another short film before going to the second feature because I think that the, the short films are 
places for more freedom and to test some ideas sometimes for the future. So I would love to make the, the next idea for the future is kind of a musical. So I need to test some ideas first because it's not so obvious to make a musical as a second future. And I would love to test in a short film, but let's see, let's see. Wow, well, I'm excited to see that too. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us. Yeah, thank you. Really enjoy presenting your film here in London. Yeah, thank you very much.